Okay, Karis, we're going to talk about high school. Um, what was high school like for you? It was a very interesting experience. I was in a high school in a quite a run-down area. So okay. it was the norm for girls to get pregnant at 14, leave school, and then come back at 16 and do their exams. So wow. it was quite unique. For, at 14? At 14, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So it was quite a strange environment to be in for somebody who didn't get pregnant. Wow. Was it a rough neighborhood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But did you have a good time? Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed myself. It was great. You know, as long as you, I kept myself out of trouble, uh-huh. know, which was hard because everyone was getting into trouble. But, yeah, it was fine. Wow. Okay. Uh, what do you remember most about high school? Um, I remember that the school dinners were disgusting. Okay. And did you get good grades in high school? Yeah. Okay. What was your favorite subject? My drama. Okay. Do you still act? No. Okay. Do you still go to theater? Yeah. Okay. To watch. Just to watch? Great. Thanks a lot, Karis. No worries. Tim, uh, you want to talk about road trips? Yeah, I want to talk about road trips. Uh, me and my friends, uh, when we were in high school, we took a lot of road trips, lot, lots of different places. Okay. Uh, we'd go down to California, uh, sometimes Mexico. Uh, one time, when I was living in Wyoming, in one weekend, we drove uh, from Wyoming through uh, Colorado, uh, New Mexico, into Mexico, and back the same weekend. Wow. Well, actually, for people that aren't you know familiar with the United States, how far is that? Ah, it's a long way. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. It took... Uh, I don't know, it took probably about uh, 15 hours one way. Wow. <laughs> so like 30 hours altogether. But it was fun. We drove down to Mexico, had a good night, good meal, a little bit of drinks, and drove back the next day. Wow. So you went to Tijuana? No, we went to uh, Ciudad Juarez. Ciudad Juarez, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. And then a lot of other trips. We'd, uh, when I lived in Oregon, we'd go down to uh, California, and uh, we'd surf. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're a surfer? A little bit. A little bit of a surfer. Okay. Uh, one, well, what, what kind of car do you have? I mean, what, what do you use for this road trip? Uh, well, typical American, uh, uh, four-wheel drive uh, vehicle, big vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of gas, but a lot of fun. Oh, man, you're from Oregon. You're supposed to be a tree hugger. I know. Now. <laughs> I know, but they're good. One one rule we had on uh, road trips was any uh, any lake or a uh, big body of water, we had to stop and swim in, so... It's a good thing to do. Okay. Well, you live in Japan now. Do you ever do road trips in Japan? I took a road trip from uh, Niigata up uh, around Hokkaido and back. So it was a long road trip, actually. Okay. Wow. Um, what's the difference between a road trip in Japan and a road trip in America? Uh, well, a road trip in Japan, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get around. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, in America, road tripping is sort of uh, something that a lot of people do. Yeah. And in Japan, when you do that, it's a little bit strange, a little bit different, uh, not not very normal. Yeah. So. That's true. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot, Tim. All right.